Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So y'all, I am actually about to move out of this bag. So I decided to go ahead and do a review video on this as well as show y'all what I have in this bag since it's fresh on my mind. Y'all, I actually carried this bag on a recent shopping trip. And when I tell you, I got so many compliments on this bag, I was actually pretty shocked. And it was so funny, y'all, because every time someone would compliment me, I was always taken aback because I kept forgetting that this bag was actually on my arm. <laughs> It was so wild, y'all. Like, I took this bag to the mall, and no lie, y'all know how, like, when you go into, like, the mall, and there's, like, sales associates waiting on the outside of the storage ready to greet you? Well, y'all, I actually passed at um, the Alexander McQueen store, and in the process of me passing the store, the associate, he immediately stopped me and questioned me about this bag, y'all. He was so intrigued with its beauty, and we had a good little conversation. Like, we talked for a good five minutes about this bag. Um, and then another time, y'all, is when I went into the coach store to see what was new, which, by the way, if I haven't already, I will be posting a video talking about everything that I saw in the store. But anyways, as I was actually checking out bags, y'all, a customer actually came up to me and she asked me where I had purchased this bag because she wanted to get her hands on one. Yeah, I was just really shocked at all of the compliments I got, but... All in all, y'all, this was a really good carry. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I am ready to move out of this bag because I am itching, y'all. I am itching to get into a tote. I have to get into a tote. I need to get into something bigger. So, yes, we're doing that today. <laughs> so, if I haven't already said it, y'all, this is my Gucci Flora Bucket Tote in the color yellow. I did pick this bag up on last year, I believe, for Mother's Day. And I have really been neglecting this bag, y'all. I have not carried this bag much at all. But I am actually determined to carry all of my bags on this year. And so far, so good. So just to go ahead and give you all a spin around of this bag. Um, I do have something right here. I don't know if y'all will be able to, the camera's picking that up. But I think that a wet one, let me get a wipe, y'all, and get that off. I don't know what that is. So when I was carrying this bag, y'all, I did actually carry it in the crook of my arm the entire time. So something, did y'all see that? Something must have rubbed off on it. But I think that a wet one will get that off. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. Okay, yeah, I don't know what that was. Some kind of glue or something. I don't know. But the wet one is definitely getting that off. Okay, it's off. So yeah, I don't know what that was, y'all, but it is now clean, as you can see. And that's what I love so much about this leather, y'all. Like, this leather is so forgiving. It is very, very durable. Um, Here is the bottom of the bag, the corners, everything. As y'all can see, it still looks really good. And I never really had to, well, I take that back. I did put this bag down when I got to like the register and things. Um, I did put this bag down, but everything, as you can see, it still looks good. There is something here, which this was actually rubbed against me. And I, I was wearing jeans today, so it probably got a little bit of color transfer. But it is coming off. So this is typically what I do, y'all. Like... Before putting my bags away, I'll inspect it. And if I need to clean or, any, or anything, I do so. But like while I'm out, y'all, I really don't be inspecting my bags or anything. So I never really know what happened <laughs> or how the spots get there. Because I'm not constantly checking for all of that. I'm too busy just trying to enjoy the bag. So, um, yeah, as y'all can see, this is a drawstring bucket bag. So that is the only closure. 
and y'all I love this because it is it does close pretty tightly and the way that I have my items in here the items are not really gonna fall out even though my pepper spray is like dangling for dear life <laughs> like if it tips over things aren't gonna fall out of the bag so I do like that about this bag now this bag as y'all can see it does have a top handle this bag does come with a crossbody strap as well now I can wear this bag crossbody but I just choose to do it as a top handle because I prefer carrying my bucket bags as top handles but in this case I could actually easily push this handle down like so and then I could actually attach my crossbody strap and wear it as a crossbody or as a long shoulder if I chose to. So yeah, that is that. Now to spruce this bag up, y'all, I did actually put this cute little palm on it and I just thought it added like, it's just so cute. Like, yes, this bag has this print on it and it really doesn't need any sprucing up, but I am getting back into just dressing up my bags, y'all. So that's why I threw this little poof on and you couldn't tell me nothing. Like the fact that everyone was complimenting me and everything, like I thought I was cute, cute, y'all. <laughs> and so let me go ahead and remove this because I don't want it to be a distraction. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I had in this bag. Now, I will go ahead and tell y'all that this bag for me, it is going to be more of a carry um, when I am not gonna be out for a long time and I don't need a lot of items. Because even though this bag, it looks to be a nice size bucket bag, as y'all can see, the bottom is not very wide. So therefore, I am not able to put a lot of items in this bag. So I did pretty much have like my necessities in here. So to go ahead and get started, I am going to pull out my catch-all pouch. So for my catch-all pouch, I did end up using this Coach Double Wristlet. And I believe this is in the color Cannery. And it's not an exact match to this yellow, but it does match the flower print on the bag. So that's why I chose this. And here in the front, I have my lippy that I am currently wearing. And this is by the brand Gucci. And it is a matte lippy, y'all, in the color Joanna burgundy joanna burgundy and let me show y'all this color because it is so super cute so by the way let me show y'all this the uh, packaging is super nice and then you just pull it off like so and look at this beautiful burgundy color i love it y'all i think burgundy is like my go-to color when it comes to lippies i think it just looks so good on me but i did pick this up from sephora y'all by the way and i will leave a link for it below if you're interested but I have that in there. I have my brow pencil, my Biosense lip balm. Y'all know I I love that. That thing has become a staple. I have my Ilia lip or eyeliner, my Juvia's Place lip liner, and then I have my ink pen. So that's everything that I pretty much had in the front, y'all. And I still had room to put more items in here, but I didn't want to like stuff this thing too, too much. So that is pretty much all. And let's see, how did I have this? I think I had it that way. So yeah, that is all Ooh, that I had in the front. Okay, so then in the back part, I pretty much had my Tylenol my allergy medicine which did come in handy today i don't know why my allergies are messing up right now y'all i don't understand um it's been rainy and gloomy here but i don't know so i have a panty liner and then i have a feminine product and that's everything that i had in the back part and it worked out great for me okay So then moving on, the next thing that I have in here are my car keys, house keys, my pepper spray. So I am using my Louis Vuitton Damien E. Bean six ring car holder to house everything. This is how everything is looking. And I love this thing so much, y'all. I have had this thing, I think I picked this up in 2020, I believe, or 2021. And it's still holding up really well, y'all. I just love this thing so much. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. No glazing issues. And I use this thing a good bit too, y'all. 
So yeah, I am either using that to hold my keys or like my Dooney and Burt coin pouches. I love to use those to um, hold keys as well. So then moving on y'all, the next thing I have in here is this Clinette. And I do wanna pause and give a shout out to my sissy, DJ King, <laughs> because she had told me that um, determined to be, you know, she shows these in her What's In My Bags a lot. And she had mentioned in one of her videos that she got it from Target. So DJ King and I went on a hunt for these and we found them. <laughs> and I love these y'all, they're so compact. It's like a little wallet, like envelope almost. And it holds a good bit of tissue, doesn't take up a lot of space, very thin and compact. So yes, these are bomb, I love them. So thank you DJ King and Determined To Be. And then the next thing that I have in here y'all is my Touchland Sanitizer. And I only chose this because it's orange and I'm like, yeah, it goes with the bag. <laughs> All right, so then the next thing that I have in here is my um, fan. And I probably did not need to use this or need to have this in my bag, y'all, because it actually wasn't that hot today. Like, it was really nice. The temperature was really nice. So this is probably going to eventually go put up soon because I think it's beginning to feel like fall here, which I'm excited about. Next thing is my iWalk charger. I just have my iWalk charger in this little pouch here. And then I'm just gonna pull out both of these. So I have my hand cream and this is the Among the Clouds. And then I have my Gucci Bloom and this is the fragrance that I am wearing today. Okay, and then next up is my wallet, y'all. So I did end up using my MCM wallet in the color mango. The mango color, y'all, is pretty much identical to this leather trim here on the Gucci bag. So I thought that it would be a great um, wallet to use in this bag. So to show y'all what I have in here, um, when you open it, so there's two snaps, which I love. So when you first open this wallet, you do get a compartment here, which I do not have anything here. And then you also get a zip compartment here, which I am holding um, coins in there. So I have coins in there. And then when you open it up, it reveals more card slots for you. So you get a total of six card slots, but I did double up on some of the cards. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have 11 cards total in this wallet, y'all. Like how amazing is that? It does come with a pocket here. And then you do get a compartment for your cash. And I do have cash in there. So I had this wallet stuffed today, y'all. And it worked out great. Like, look at this wallet. So nice. And I am really digging the compact wallets lately, y'all. I really am. So, yeah, I thought that went really well in the bag. And then that's everything that I had in the main compartment. I do have a gum wrapper there. Now, this bag does come with a bat slip pocket. Within the back slip pocket, I do have the little Gucci card that it came with. And then I also had my Try Not Chewing Gum and then my Chanel Mirror in there. And then on the other side, it comes with two slip pockets. And in the back slip pocket, I just have some wet ones. And I have lens wipes. And then in the other pocket, I just have a Neiman Marcus card because I did see something in Neiman Marcus, y'all, that I wanted. So I will be revealing it to y'all once I get it. <laughs> and then I have a receipt. So that is pretty much everything that I had in the bag, y'all. And as y'all can see, it still looks nice and clean because I did, for the most part, try to put things that could go in pouches within pouches just to make sure everything stays nice and clean and it was so easy to use this bag y'all because all I had to do was just open it up look down in at my items and get everything out so yeah I have no cons about this bag other than the fact that I'm not able to use it as an everyday bag but it definitely worked great for me going out for a few hours today and running errands um, so yeah, y'all, that is that. Um, that concludes this video. I do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.